Well, we met through a friend and she went to school with me and I guess she went to school with him back in the past too, back in like middle school, but I was with her in high school and it was the time when we were still instant messaging, not even texting. And she was just like, well, I'm talking to my friend so-and-so and if you want to join the conversation. So I was like, I don't even know what that means, but okay. So we got on and then right as soon as I joined the conversation, she left. And it was just the two of us and we were just kind of chatting for a while just trying to make conversation and from there we just every day we were talking on the computer about everything and we knew everything about each other but we hadn't met each other for a while and then eventually we finally did get to meet each other and, and after that I needed help with an accounting class so I called him and he just so happened to be free that day so well she needed help with her accounting homework I knew nothing about accounting so I decided to take a chance and finally meet her since we knew so much about each other and and then two years in um, that's when Christopher was getting more into my life because we were just talking and he helped me figure out a major and after a lot of deciding and him motivating me to keep going then I transferred to UNM knock it all out graduated I think um, for me the big transition has, for me has been going from undergraduate to law school and not only that, leaving New Mexico to do it. And for me, the big turning point was really when she decided to come live with me because I know that's a big step for her and her family. And for me, that kind of showed me, well, she definitely feels committed to us and wants to see this long term. And I definitely did. And just to know that she was willing to take that step, I felt like I could see her as my future wife. Pretty much he told me that he was moving to Seattle for school and at the time I was like, okay, like have fun. And finally I texted him, I was just like, hey, I need help with school. It's like, where are you at right now? He was like, actually I'm back in New Mexico. So I was like, oh, perfect. So that was the time. <laughs> so it's like, I knew he was from state to state and I just never left, I was here. And pretty much what I did is I just had a Christmas card, I proposed on Christmas, and I wrote everything in pencil, just a normal card that you would write to anybody on Christmas. And then I, I used some of the letters I put in pen and ink that would spell, will you marry me? So I had her read the card, I had my mom uh, videotaping, my mom and Cindy videotaping. And then uh, she erased everything, and what was left was, will you marry me in ink? And then I got on my knee and proposed to her. Yeah, he told me that he loved me on Christmas, and I think it was like two Christmas later, because it has to have been this last Christmas, and almost the same way as he told me as he loved me, it was also in a Christmas card, and that's when he proposed, except that I was completely blindsided, didn't even know that was happening. <laughs> so. uh, you know, celebrate her culture and her family accepting my culture as well, has been a lot of fun. So I think our culture is really uh, something that we celebrate together didn't know that we have plans on getting a house and starting like little businesses that we were just joking about but we're kind of serious it's like I think it's more of a comfort to know that we can have those plans and as well as planning a family so it's like I know that we can support each other and that's the exciting part I really like this guy way more than anybody else ever and it's like I've never cared for anyone as much as him so I was just like, I don't know if it's love or not since we're not really going out. And then as soon as I got to Seattle, I didn't want to leave. And we were just like, well, if we do this long distance, maybe it just proof if we can pull it through or not. As soon as I came home from the trip, I was just like, I think I love them. And I mean, I might be just be in like this glitzy, glam, fairy tale kind of thing, but I was pretty sure. And I was telling my other friend, I was like, I'm not too sure if I'm moving too fast or not. And after that, he was just like, he was calling me and I was just like, you know what, I really need you home because this is like, this distance way too far for me. And pretty much that was October. And then now it's like, or at the time it was December for Christmas. And I wanted to tell him that I love him. And so I was like, no, I should let the guy do it first. <laughs> and cause I wasn't too sure if he was on the same path as me. And it turns out he was cause he wrote it in a little Christmas card. And so. Uh, Jessica, I love you very much. Um, I think we've been through so much together and we have so much more to go. This is just the beginning of our, our entire lives together and I, I can't wait to see everything that, has, that it has in store for us and I know that we'll have some downs, we'll have some ups, we'll visit a lot of different places and see a lot of different people and 
do a lot of things together and I can't wait to do it all with you. Um, and I, I just thank you for being so supportive of everything, all my ambitions in my life and all my goals and my family and I hope that I've done the same for you and I love you very much. I'm really excited. I know you won't see this until maybe after our wedding day. Um, just to let you know, I'm super nervous right now because I don't know what to say. Um, I'm really happy that I called you to help me with my accounting class. I'm really happy that I went to go visit you in Seattle and then you surprised me by asking me up to be your girlfriend and I thought I couldn't get any happier and you proved me wrong by proposing and I'm so excited to be moving on to new adventures with you and I know that we're going to be living in California and I can only imagine how that goes. Um, I really hope that you are just excited as I am and to build everything from here on out and I just want you to look back at this video every year and just think and know how much I love you and the, by the time that you watch this again I'll probably love you even more. <laughs>